Hey guys, welcome back to THFE. This is Psychoduck, and I'm here with another competitive map feature. Today I want to show you guys a map called Checkmate, which was created by Sergeant Slaphead. And this map is a sort of a smaller map. It actually plays best for 3v3, which is kind of an odd player count. Uh, Slap actually has sort of a habit of making maps that work really nicely for that player count, though, like Cryptic. Uh, but 2v2 games are also great, and uh, 4v4, play at your own risk. Um, but Checkmate is a very cool and very unique map. Sort of like Cryptic, it has a bit of a uh, sort of Halo CE vibe. At least for me, I, I find it kind of reminds me of some of these older style Halo maps. But it's cool because it actually uses some really unique uh, and newer design elements and it uh, works really nicely. So the first thing to know about Checkmate is how vertical the map is. It's basically, uh, it's an all interior map and the map has this sort of central atrium or this shaft which is very tall and then uh, the map sort of spirals around that uh, clockwise upwards or counterclockwise downwards um, up around the atrium and then it uh, opens up onto that atrium at specific intervals and there's more to it than that that's kind of the simplified version but this verticality is really cool um, there's loads of different jumps you can do among like all all of the levels are open to the atrium so you can actually if you really wanted you could jump from the very bottom of the map just up a level at a time all the way up to the top of the map you'd probably get BR'd like 200 times over if you tried to do it <laughs> but you know it, it's it's possible you can do that um, and the way that the levels are open to each other and you can jump down from one to the next or you can actually jump down two levels or drop down or whatever you can jump across the atrium uh, but you know you can always jump up to the next level uh, the map also uses teleporters to um, sort of create additional routes um, and it's 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 really cool so <laughs> the other really important thing to keep in mind about checkmate is that uh, the map is you know I don't want to say it's not an accessible map but it's a map with a very serious learning curve um, you know any good competitive map is going to reward map knowledge to some extent uh, but this one is certainly on the higher end of that. This map really is going to reward the players that understand the layout, understand uh, where the pickups are, and how to use callouts on this map, and how to use the jumps, and just how to work with the sight lines uh, to their advantage. Um, so it might be a little discouraging at first, because uh, you know the layout might even appear confusing at first. Um, but once you get the hang of it, which you will, it's intuitive enough that you will, if you play it a couple times, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's awesome. Like, and, and it is so rewarding to play this map and to understand exactly what's going on, understand exactly, you know, how everything fits together and how it works. So it's really cool for that. Um, something cool... Uh, something else cool <laughs> about this map is the way it creates movement so on you know such a vertical map there is a clear high point you know there is the top of the map and uh, you know something you always have to be careful of is you don't want players to just gravitate towards the top um, so a lot of times uh, designers use like weapons to, to sort of pull people away from that, like you get to the top of the map and you want to drop down to pick something up, like a rocket launcher or something. This map doesn't really do that because this map actually has a really sort of odd assortment of pickups, which I'll get into in a minute. But, uh, you know, the way the sight lines work and kind of crisscross around the atrium, like from the top of the atrium, your sight line goes all the way across, so you can hit players that are um, you know, approaching the top, but not the ones that are close to the top, not the ones that are immediately there. So, you know, you can actually completely bypass the sight lines from the top, so if you're holding the top of the map, you're actually going to be moving a lot, and you're going to be, like, jumping down a level um, to get the perpendicular sight line across, or, you know, down this hallway uh, next to you, and you're going to be watching the teleporter, 
And of course, we might be dropping down to get pickups, but uh, you know, ooh, it, it's it's really interesting. So, uh, like I was saying with pickups, um, the, the map has a really odd arrangement. So, the only clear power weapon on this map is actually a concussion rifle, which spawns down towards the bottom. The concussion rifle is quite useful. Um, you know, especially with all the jumping going on in the atrium, you can really use the conch rifle to knock players down and, you know, disorient them and whatnot. There's also a hologram that spawns down there, uh, and the hologram pickup is pretty useful for juking players out. There are, um, like, while the map is largely focused on tighter areas, um, there are several longer hallways and whatnot where you can really use that hologram to your advantage to you know, trick players. Um, moving up from there, there is a jetpack pickup, which actually spawns right under a little chute from the very top of the map. So you can actually use that jetpack um, to just fly right up there, and it's actually a really cool tactic, <coughs> especially in Oddball, which is one of the standout game modes on this map, uh, to just immediately get um, like like blue team spawns down there and, and immediately gets this jetpack and can kind of get to the top that way whereas red team spawns equidistant from the top in terms of you know, running up there so um, you know so that's really cool the jetpack is really useful uh, there's also a bolt shot which can be very effective you know kind of like a mini shotgun um, you know, around some of the corners and some, in some of the tighter areas on the map. And there's also a plasma pistol and a needler. And the needler is really useful um, sort of in and around the atrium. So, oh, and, and there's also several grenade pickups. So it, it's, you know, kind of an odd assortment of pickups. There's no really, like, clear power weapons or anything. But it's kind of cool, and it's also really cool that you know, the map isn't creating movement incentive with these power weapons, it's really creating movement incentive just with its layout, just as it is, and the way the sightlines work. So, that's really cool. Uh, the map is awesome for Slayer, we really like playing no sprint on it, because you kind of get the slower paced, more strategic gameplay. Um, you know, the map is called Checkmate, <laughs> that, that is a chess reference, I mean, the map's like level of strategic uh, play that is available on here is not to be understated. Um, so, you know, that slower paced no sprint uh, is really cool. Um, we also really love playing Oddball on this map, and uh, in this footage we're actually playing a no sprint variant of Oddball, which actually uses the extraction node as the Oddball to prevent throws, um, which is kind of <laughs> interesting. but. Uh, yeah, so if you're wondering why that's there, that's why. Um, but yeah, Oddball is great on here. Uh, as the ball carrier, you're really going to be moving a lot. Uh, the top might seem like the obvious choice for where to go with the ball, and you'll definitely want to spend a good amount of time up there, but then you'll find that there will be times when you'll want to drop down and use the teleporters to your advantage and circle around um, and just do all kinds of cool stuff like juking out in the atrium doing jumps across all kinds of great stuff callouts on this map are going to be more based around the pickups you know so you're gonna say oh they're going by the bolt shot or you know they're down by the conch rifle um, you'll also say you know top lift or, or whatever but uh, you know, so callouts aren't really color-based, and that's something that is is actually really nice. I think. I think too often designers rely exclusively on callouts or color callouts on their maps. But uh, yeah, so really great map. You guys should check it out. Go play some Oddball and Team Slayer on here uh, with smaller parties. It's a fantastic map. Once you get to know it, <laughs> don't be discouraged by. Uh, how frustrating it might be at first because there is that learning curve but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy playing this one it's awesome map thanks for watching we will be back next time with another cool map this has been psycho duck with thfe bye bye guys